I'm in Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm gonna go meet with Gina, who's a heroin addict, and go talk to her and try to give her some help. Basically, it is a, it's pretty much like teen intervention. You know, it is, uh, I do an intervention on a, on for the MTV generation. It's a, a sibling of an addict reaches out to me, ask for help, or, or a parent reaches out, asks for help. I show up and I offer them help. You know, I'm a recovering addict, so, to me, that's the one bond that we have. I can tell them what I did, and I offer them 90 days in treatment, and I follow up with them and help them get sober. For $2.35, I got myself a, some ghetto grape soda and a crack pipe. Honestly, it's terrifying. I mean, I am a recovering drug addict, and I'm around, you know, when I see it in the, and I'm in their room and the paraphernalia and the whole lifestyle and everything, I still, 11 years later, have that little thing in my head that starts thinking, oh, where's that? I wonder what that is. And I look at it in this way and I have to, you know, constantly, you know, remind myself why I'm here and remember what it was like. And there's no better way to remember what it was like when I was at my bottom than to see someone at their bottom. I'm, I'm hoping that what the show will do is, is give hope to a family and to show if you know your sister, or your brother, whoever it may be, is acting this certain way, and you know that they're doing drugs, this is the reality of what they're really doing. You know, you get to see it, and then you get to see that there is hope, that there is an answer. I mean, I guess I, I get why they call it post-trauma because it, you know, it, it it was very tough, and it's I have really bad days, and I have okay days. You know, it's it's strange, you know, but I mean, I'm blessed. I'm alive. I'm here.